Hey guys, what's up? Um, I am here. Today, I'm bringing you a tutorial for Minecraft 1.5.2. It's about how to get the Dragon Ball Z mod. Okay, this mod is great. It's got key, it's got punching, it's got dashing, it's got jumping, it's got flying, it's got, like, powerful attacks. You can shoot Kamehameha's, bang bang attacks, anything. If you're a DBZ fan, you're gonna love this mod. This mod is great. Especially because you can go Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, anything you want, but um, I'm just here to show you guys how to do it. So this is going to be a full guided simple tutorial. It's not going to be simple. Well, it's going to be simple, but it's going to be manual, which some of you might have trouble with, but I am going to go through everything, so don't even worry about it. Alright, so here I got my Internet Explorer. All of this is going to be in my description. All of it. So first of all, this looks very confusing, but... When you get to this website, you're going to have to come up here, and you're going to see all this. You're going to click on Downloads for 1.5.2. When you come down here, you're going to see all this info right here. Just click this right here, Dragon Ball Z Universal. You're going to wait. This is AdFly. It takes a while. Just give it a second. Have patience. Skip that. Just save. Click Save as. Go to your desktop, save. Now, if you go back, back again, you're gonna come back here, you're gonna have to. Oh, it, it takes you right back down here, that's, that's nice. Alright. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Okay. Now, then you're going to get. Hmm. I think this is required. Yes, it is. Okay. Just wait again. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's better than. It's better than um. Not having a tutorial go by. <laughs> that's that's for sure. <sighs> I know. I know. When I used to have no clue how to do any of this. All right. Um. Any of you who are very new to this, just don't worry. I'm gonna go right through this. It's gonna be so easy. We're gonna fly by. All right. So. Um. Oh. First things first, all this, if this doesn't come up as books to you, that means you don't have WinRAR. But WinRAR is very, WinRAR is very easy to get. It's very hard to say it. But, um, here, you're gonna see all this, don't worry about this. This is just all different languages, but if you're English, you can choose, you can choose whatever language you want, like whatever language you are. But, um, if you're full English, just come up here. If you want English, just come up here, either download the 64-bit version, or the 32 bit. Now I'm going to show you how to see if your computer is a 64 bit or 32 bit. Now this is a Windows 8. So on Windows 8, you're going to have to come down here. You're going to go to File Manager. You're going to come down. You're going to click on Computer. You're going to right click, click Properties. On other Windows, you're just going to click the um what do you call it? the start button right here and then you're gonna right click my computer and click properties but as you can see my operating system is a 64 bit so I would click right here I would click right here you would click up there but um, then you come down here don't click any of that that's the buy it just click here don't worry it's the same as the paid version it just gives you stupid pop-up things stupid don't worry um then you're just gonna click down here just click run don't click save it, it just runs it into your computer but after you're done with that let's come back here this will be in the description don't worry then you need minecraft forge now this is all confusing looking don't worry about that that's just previous versions of this just now you're gonna see a latest up here whatever version you're up to and um you're gonna click universal that's the, the best one because it works with everything but um and you're just gonna wait. Not gonna kill you. Every little thing's gonna be alright. And you're done. And you click this save as desktop. But I already have it, so I don't have to do that. Oh, that's also gonna be in the description. Here it is. All right. Then after this, if you don't know this part, you are either extremely old and you have no idea how computers work. Or, you're just very new to this and you haven't modded before, but if you're either of those, I am happy to help. So don't worry, this is going to go really easy, I'm going to go right through it. You're going to type in percent, which is shift, and the number 5, if you don't know where that is. App, data, 
percent again. Enter. And sorry, I just hit my mic, but um then you're gonna click mine dot minecraft. And when this comes up, you're gonna see here it's gonna be bin all this stuff. You're gonna click bin first and then oh what the heck? And you're gonna go to Minecraft, you're, you'll see executable jar file. Right click that, open with WinRAR Archiver. Then this is gonna come up. See, that's what I mean by stupid pop-ups. This is going to come up. Now, when this is up, you're going to see all this stuff. You have to get... What the... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I, I already put it in, that's why. Alright. Well. You're going to put this... All of this, you're just gonna come in here. You're gonna drag all of this down and drag it in here, and you're gonna click OK, and it's gonna copy it. But I already have it in there. And you're you're gonna right-click and delete Meta INF. There's gonna be a file called Meta INF with an underscore, and you're gonna delete that. It's gonna be gone. All right, that's gonna be gone. Just don't worry about the Meta INF in there. It's gonna work. And then when you're done with that, you are not done with this. You gotta go into JRock Client, X that out, and then you're going to um take these two files, drag them in there, do the exact same thing. I already have them in there though. So um then after that you're going to be done with Minecraft.jar unless you have other things like too many items and you just wanna th this isn't relevant though. That's just, that's just if you want it. Too many items mod Everyone, you know, just, just don't worry about that. That's not that's not relevant. But um, all right, let's get this over here. You're basically done with the Minecraft.jar. So um, just go back over here. You're going to click mod the mods folder after you load your Minecraft. It'll say loading FML. Don't worry, just let that. Don't click stop. Let that do it. Once you got to start it. All right, you got to start Minecraft with the Minecraft. Forge everything. It'll load everything. Then X out of that. Then you're gonna come over here. You're gonna take the Dragon Block C that you downloaded. This is very complicated, and I know, but just stay with me here. Just, it, just you know. Then you're just gonna take this. You're gonna double click on mods. I already have it in there. You're gonna drag this in here. Don't worry about JBrock client. You don't need that in here. This can either be Actually, if you feel more comfortable with putting Dragon Ball C and JBrock Client in here, you can do that. But I prefer to put it this into my Minecraft.jar. Either one, either one's fine. Don't don't worry about that. You're just gonna drag that in there, drop it in there, X that out, start Minecraft, play the mod, have fun. If you have any questions, write it in the comments. I I will, I will get back to you. But it might not be right away. But I will eventually get back to you, so you just gotta come back and look. Alright? If you have any more questions, just ask me to make a different video on a certain thing, and I will. If you have any other mods you want me to make a video on, I'll try. Alright? So, um, thank you, and I hope I, I was an assistance to you, and, um, thank you.